So you spoke about um, you spoke about uh, hormo- hormonal effects of a uh, of a lack of sleep. Mm-hmm. You spoke about how it affects uh, stress as well. Uh, you wake up a little more a little more stressed out, feeling like you may be a little less able to cope with stuff uh, throughout the day. Mm-hmm. What other impacts would it have as far as your nutritional choices go? What so having a lack of sleep? Uh, having a partially. lack of sleep, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, the, the main thing that they've focused on is that it. it a lack of sleep obviously is a stressor, so it impacts stress. And so the stress hormone cycle across a 24-hour day is meant, to be, is meant to be highest in the morning, and it gradually drops down throughout the day, and it should be lowest in the first one to three hours of our sleep. So that's the, the normal stress cycle. And then it rises again in the morning to wake us up. So early in the morning, our stress hormones are highest, not to make us feel stressed, but to release the needed air. Cortisol helps to release glucose and fats into the system, so we have lots of energy ready to you know, face the new day with, with vigor. Um, however, many people, if they're feeling stressed all the time, will actually find that their hormonal cycle isn't like that. They'll wake in the morning feeling really fatigued, probably need a good coffee to get going, or something like that with a big caffeine kick, because actually their cortisol is sluggish in the morning. It's lower than it should be. And so they struggle to get going. And when you're feeling tired, as anybody knows, there's two things your body wants to do. If you're fatigued, you want to eat something to put energy in, or I want to rest and sleep to restore the body. Uh, And if you're feeling fatigued all day long, all right, from the morning into the afternoon, you're going to feel like that during the day. I'm going to feel like I need to put energy in to restore it, or I'm going to need to take a rest. So we often see people who are chronically stressed that that is what's going on. And sleep can be one of those things that feeds into that. And so in the earlier hours of the day, what we'll tend to find is people are seeking out processed carbohydrate foods or fattier foods. You know, the, uh, you know, the, the cheap breakfast cereal in the morning might seem like a good thing because it's low in fat, but the reality is it's full of sugar and cheap refined carbohydrates that boost the glucose that should have already been in the system because of raised cortisol. But if cortisol levels are low in the morning, we're not getting that boost of naturally releasing glucose and fats because cortisol is sluggish. So we do what cortisol should be doing does that make sense yeah yeah i like that mate i like that so sleep is uh mate sounds like it's a uh, it's a big one so your big four rocks first one was sleep second one was Se- uh, uh diet third one stress fourth one exercise now that- thank you for watching we hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and come and see us again at dtsfitnesseducation.com.